Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can move around an object on the screen by just tapping on it and then dragging it around. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a function here in effect house so we can tap on an object and then drag it around on the screen to move it. The first thing we will do is to go to the left hand side and click on the add option button. Here we go to 2D and here we will select the screen image. This function will only work with 2D screen images, so we are creating one. After we have created this, we will see this big placeholder here in the middle of our screen. I don't want to have the placeholder here, I want to have my own graphic which I can move around. So I will just import a BNG file which will be my object to move around here in this effect. After the texture is imported, I select my screen object and then set the um, texture of this object to the graphic I have just imported. Now I will select the screen image again and just yeah, set the scale from 1 to let's say 0 0.5. So yeah. The object now is a little bit smaller. At the moment I cannot click on the screen image to move it around. So let's yeah, create this function. For this we will go to our visual scripting panel here in Effect House and here we will yeah, create some nodes to program this function. So we go to add node and the first thing we will search for is a screen image tab node. This node will yeah um, trigger when we tap on this screen object. To, to set the right screen object, we go to image, which is set to none, click on it and then select the screen image. So after this node, we will need another one and this will be a screen pan node. Also create this screen pan node. This screen pan node will give us a position and where we tap on the screen. So it gives us the 2D position where our finger yeah, touches the screen. So this is very important. But we have to yeah, do some calculations so it gives us the right yeah, X and Y values. So we go to the position vector to output, just drag it, then release it. And here we will search for a subtract node. And here we will set the B to 0.5 for X and also to 0.5 of Y. Then we also need a multiply node. So again, just drag this output and then here search for multiply. So and now here for B, the X will be multiplied by 720 and the Y will be multiplied by 1280. This is the screen effect re resolution. And now we want to set our position of our screen image. To do this, we go to the left hand side to our screen image, select it, then go to the right hand side and here and click on the little yeah, circle next to position. Click on it and then click on set position. Then we get this blue node in our visual scripting panel and now we can connect the output of the multiply node with the value input of the set position node and then um, the screen pan output goes into the enter input of the set position node. And now when we tap and drag along here on in our preview, we can already see that the object is moving. But you may have noticed that we haven't used our screen image tab node yet. Because now I can tap everywhere on the screen and the object will move. But I just want the object to move when I really tap on the object. So we have to also program a function which validates if the object is tapped or not. To do this, we will need a few um, more nodes. The first node we will need is a screen tab node. So also create a screen tab node. Then we also need a if node. Then 
a gate node and another if node. And now we have to yeah, connect them in the right way to make this work. So the screen tab output and the screen image tab output goes into the same enter input of the first if node. Then the true output of this if node goes into the open um, input of the gate node and the false output of this if node goes into the close input of the gate node. And yes, then when this gate opens, then the screen pen goes into the enter, so this signal goes through the gate. And yeah, I just realized we don't need this if node, so we can delete this again. And then the um, next output of this gate goes into the enter input of our set position. So and now when we tap on the object, it moves, but when we tap somewhere else, it shouldn't move. But it is still moving because we forget one important connection because the when we go to the screen image tab the is tapped boolean should be connected to the if condition of the if node. And now we can test it again when we don't when we tap on the object it moves and when we don't tap on the object it doesn't move. So yeah, this is all the magic about how you can move an object on the screen by tapping on it and then drag it along on the screen. I hope this was helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.